Welcome to HDTV. You're now rocking with your boy. 2020 NBA free agency. Fred Van Fleet is really good. The undrafted free agent turned shooting star is unlikely, but he'd be very good as a maverick. Since the NBA's 2020 version of free agency is set to open and close rather quickly, it is time to do what we tried to do for years in looking at the potential players on the market as well as analyze their fit and likelihood in Dallas. No better place to start than a favorite within our robust comment section community in Fred Van Fleet. The Toronto Raptor guard is perhaps the highest value unrestricted free agent on the market. At 6'1 and around 200 pounds, the 26-year-old guard just finished the, his fourth season with the Toronto Raptors. After going undrafted in 2016, he signed a two-year deal with the Raptors after just three NBA Summer League games. He re-signed on a two-year deal in 2018, which results in his being a free agent this offseason. Following a standout four-year career at Wichita State, Fred Van Fleet's contribution at the NBA level increased steadily with each season. This past year, FVV posted career highs across the board, scoring 17, 18 points, excuse me, grabbing four boards and dishing seven assists while shooting 39% from three on nearly seven attempts per game. He got to the line at a career-high rate of four attempts per game and shooting just under 85%. Right in the middle of his prime, Van Fleet has made the case that he's a near star worthy of a hefty payday. His strengths, the man is a tank for starters, though it's really easy to jump to the offensive numbers since Dallas is currently an offensively minded team. A key strength in why he'll have NBA staying power for some time, his literal strength. Pete, one of our frequent commenters and a community member, talks about this more in his Substack profile of FVV, but it's easy to hand wave Van Fleet's height as a weakness when his defensive skills is an underrated part of his success. Then there's his shooting and ball handling. He's a better ball handler and playmaker than any Dallas player, than any player Dallas has passed Luka Doncic. If the Mavericks have any interest in decreasing the low Doncic shoulders, there aren't any other players that are also unrestricted free agents, which could help the way Van Fleet would. Past tangible things like that, he's a two-way guard with a heck of a shot. There's the intangible things. He gives me strong Jason Terry vibes in terms of shot making. Check out his three-point shooting in the 2019 playoffs starting in the middle of the Eastern Conference Finals. Talk about throwing flames. His weaknesses, he is short at just 6'1", but the aforementioned strength serves as a solid counterbalance. He's also older. He'll turn 27 in February, but the draft usually sees the best talent getting a rookie contract than an extension. So guys of Van Fleet's caliber usually aren't available at this pre-prime to prime age. The only real weakness to Van Fleet isn't actually about him but about what the Mavericks want or are able to convince Luka Doncic to do. The politics of keeping a superstar happy are difficult when Dallas needs more rangy wings to compete with the most loaded position in the NBA. The problem there is there aren't many on the market at all that fix that that issue for Dallas. The Mavericks might want more wings, but if the free agent talent exists at other position, it puts them in a difficult spot. The fit with the Mavericks, if there's a guy who loves working with smaller guards with the knack for scoring, it's Dallas Mavericks coach Rick Carlisle. The list of lesser players he's boosted during his time with Dallas is lengthy, and Van Fleet, while clearly not a lesser player, would fit seamlessly, excuse me. Given Dallas spacing, it's possible he'd be even better if he were given chances to run the second unit. Since he's always played professionally in a more collective offense, it could be an upfront challenge getting used to playing with a guy like Doncic, who has the ball so much. Then again, half the point of signing Van Fleet would to would to give Dallas more optionality in the offense. 
Bottom line, he is a talented basketball player and the Mavericks need more talent. Will he be a Dallas Maverick? There's been no chatter about Van Fleet from sources in and out of Dallas, but that doesn't mean much. However, there are enough hurdles that it seems like a stretch at best between the machine machine the machine nations of the cat for dallas like whether or not tim hardaway jr opts in the available free agent money on the market for some of the middle tier teams and that there doesn't seem to be anything in the air about interest from dallas it's just a lot so i say no but continue to hedge that there are much worse ways to spend money than giving van fleet a solid contract (laughs) so Do you think Fred Van Fleet would be the missing piece to helping get the Mavericks to the second round and potentially to the playoffs? Me, I don't think he'll fit in Dallas. I don't like it. Because to me, Van Fleet could be a guy who could, um, who can, um, bring the ball up, he can run the offense, he can play off the ball, and just like they talked about, his defense is impeccable. His defense is amazing. Um, He was one of the best um, defenders. He was one of the best um, defenders out there. And to me, I believe that he would be a great fit, you know, he would be a great fit for any team, especially running the point. He proved last year that hey, he's he's probably one of the best. Um, he he was probably one of the best um point guards we've seen in a long time. Like for that franchise, I think he's gonna be better than Kyle Lowry. That's just to me, and to me, he was saving the Raptors last year, especially Fred Van Fleet. I mean, not Fred. He was saving Pascal Siakam, especially in some of those games where they were supposed to get closed out and they hit big buckets. He hit the big buckets to get them back and to potentially win the game. So Fred Van Fleet is going to be a key piece. To me, Fred Van Fleet ought to go to either of these teams. To me, let's see what he wants first. He wants to get paid. I think he ought to go to either the New York Knicks I think he would fit perfect there for the Knicks if they can't get Trey Young in a trade. I think he also ought to look at going to um the Clippers. He would fit well with the Clippers. He would be the point guard that they need. He could run the offense, and he's unselfish. And you don't lose nothing on the defensive end. You gain something, and you gain him being able to play at a high level. It's the truth. Now, you also can say, hey, he could probably go to Miami. Miami could use him. He would fit well with Butler. Butler won't have to bring the ball up all the time. You know, I just don't want him to go to no Lakers or to anybody like that. I want him to go to a team where he could be the point guard, the head guy, and be the floor general. And I think he'll be a great floor general. Um, and um, not only that, I think he can go play with um what's another team he could play with? Um, um I'm trying to think. He'll be good. He'll be good in Philly as well. If they if they can move Ben Simmons, you could bring him in at the point. He would fit well there. Um, like I said, he could fit in Orlando. The Magic could use him big time. But you got Fultz there already. So and Fultz had a good season. So you don't want to mess him up. So, but you could run him in Fultz a, a two two guard. Um, you can run a two point guard on rotation. With them starting, you could have folks at the two. You could have Van Fleet at the one. They could interchange if you want to. If you want to do that, they could. No, they could interchange. Um, he could go to the Spurs, but I mean, I wouldn't go there. They they don't have no chance right now. But he could fit with the Spurs. 
I mean, it's a lot of teams he could fit with. To me, I just don't like him in Dallas because you got Seth Curry, you got Tim Hardaway. Well, it depends on Tim Hardaway Jr. He might opt out. And then you got other players who did good last year. All to me, the Mavericks need to do is get a big man, get another big man who's skilled because I don't think Porzingis is going to last long. I think Porzingis is going to slow them down and he's going to be the reason Dallas doesn't get over the top. But as far as Luka, Luka's going to be fine. But um, let me know in the comment section, man. Where do you think Fred Van Fleet would go? I think he would fit with the Clippers, the Sixers, the um, the Heat, the Magic, um, his other teams. Um, Let me know the teams in the comment section you think Fred Van Fleet would fit with. Um, Let me know... Um. If you feel he could be a superstar, I don't think he could be a superstar. I think he'll be a solid point guard. But let me know, do you think he'll be a superstar or not? And what teams do you think he'll fit in with? What teams do you think he would look good playing with? Um, Let me know in the comment section. Um, But like, comment, subscribe, share this video, hit the notification bell to select all to receive upcoming content. And if you want to donate to the page, you can cash at me at the word welcome, the number two in an HDII TV. Thank you for listening. We out. Law boy.